Hey, it's Chuck here back with Milton Daily Homes and I got two things to mention before we get started on today's list. The first one is we're actually going on vacation starting tomorrow. I'm going to do the video in the morning tomorrow before we uh, hop on a plane. We're going to Jamaica and all of next week we're going to be in blackout, okay? We're going to be enjoying the sun. We're going to take a little week off from the business. We do have people that are taking care of things here, but in terms of doing the video, Ain't going to be me next week. I'm going to take a little uh, time in the sun with my wife. So um, the other thing I want to mention is I get asked a lot, why do you do these videos? And um, the selfish reason is, uh, well, let, I'll give you a bit of history, is that um, last year we had a thousand people that requested information for homes, right around that number. And it was too much. It clogged us up. And the truth was the home information isn't where our value lies. And so I sat there and said, what could we do instead? And what I said was, I'll give you the home information. I'll give you the guide to Milton House Prices right on the, the website in the bottom left. I'll give you all the housing information you want. I'll even interpret it for you. And so what the selfish interest, what I look for in return is that when you're ready, when you're riding on the Milton Daily Homes bus and you're ready to actually start looking at homes when you want more detailed information, give us a call or send us an email or sign up on one of the three things on the right hand side. And that's, I'd rather have, you know, 50 people a year that say, Chuck, let's, uh, let's get together and talk. Okay. So if you are interested, if you're ready to make that next move, just click on one of those buttons, email, call us. I'm still checking email every second day when, when we're on holiday too. So that's, uh, that's a bit about where things are at and I'm going to get right to the homes list. Okay. That's enough about the housekeeping business. So 805 merits, the first one, 329.9 and it's detached. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two washroom. It's in a mature area. It's got a finished basement here. And uh, so it's in Timberley, deep lot, all that stuff. I mean, I like to see a little bit more in the description about things like how old's the furnace, how old's the roof, because all that stuff lasts about 15 to 20 years. The windows, that's the stuff that costs money. Cosmetic stuff is is relatively easy to fix or it's easy to write a check for, <clears throat> but you don't want to put a new furnace in because that doesn't change the value of the home unfortunately um, you know you're immediately out of pocket whereas new floors and paint will actually add to the value of the home but it looks nice I think it's priced pretty well given what's there and uh, and merits a pretty good street too so uh, Caver Hill is the next one, 377, and we haven't seen a lot of these this year. This is a Madame home, and it's a detached home. It's one of the smaller ones. We've seen a lot of the bigger ones, the Poddingtons, Powells, things like that. This is a smaller one. I think it's the Baker model. So that's your front room. They've actually separated the floors here. So instead of doing hardwood throughout, they've given a little bit of physical separation with the carpet and the hardwood here. Um, that's what you see. So your front door is right around the corner. The kitchen is on the back end here. Okay, so you can see how the kitchen, you can see how the the eat-in table is situated in the kitchen. And there's the base, the door to the basement down there. It's where the fridge is. So and you have the sliding doors here. Uh, upstairs, you've got you've got um, two bathrooms. Okay, so actually, you know, what? you have one bathroom up here, and I think they've got one bathroom that they put in the basement. So this one is three bedrooms upstairs. The master's a good size; it's half the house. And then there's it's called a semi ensuite where the master goes in, and then the hallway there's a door to the the bathroom there. And uh, and there you go. There's the basement and. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that this that they'd have the shower down there. Pot lights, set up for a nice home theater, a little bar there. Very, very nice. Um, with the deck there, beautiful. So I, could, I would anticipate without the finished basement, this one would kind of be, you know, 350 to 360. So it's right in the right range. Um, I think it looks really good. Um, the layout isn't for everybody. There's not a huge amount of space on the main floor. But overall, Caver Hill is a super street too, close to parks. Very, very nice. And there's a leash-free dog park that's not far from there. Now, Birch is the next one, 884, 399. And, you know, a little cluttered. I mean, they could have taken some of the stuff off the walls, taken the stuff off the fridge. That's a five-minute thing to do. It makes, a, it makes a difference, it really does. And, I mean, it shows okay. There's nothing here that blows you away. 
Um, four bedroom, two washroom, it's a single car garage. July 30th is the possession they're looking for. And, um, you know, here's the things I like to see. Upgraded windows, when were they upgraded? Electric panel replaced this year, garage door opener. <coughs> repainted carpet. I like to see that kind of stuff in the listing on these kind of homes. Okay, so Trafalgar Court is a relist. I've seen this one before and uh, it's set back really nice from the street. There's good separation from the neighbors. 419, it's four bedroom, three washroom and the kitchen's okay. It's not a huge kitchen and you've got the L-shaped living dining room, very traditional style and there's a shot there. Bedrooms are good size. You've, it's a split level, so you've got a couple stairs going up to that living, dining, kitchen. You've got a couple stairs going down. This is the main floor. That's the front door you can see there. There's a little powder room. Then you've got a little den area with a walk out to the yard. That's where it walks out here. And then you've got an above ground pool. It's good if you want a pool. If you don't want it, it's a big structure. I mean, it's it would be a lot to take away. Good yard on the side. Here's some really big trees. There's a park behind it. There's a shot of the park there. Nice stuff in this home. I think it's not for everybody, but it has some really unique uh, things. The layout's good. It needs a bit of work, but they all do in this neighborhood. Well, 90% of them do. McQuaig is the next one, 463.5. Um, this one here, I mean, McQuake's a little bit of a busier street. Not too busy, but it feeds in. It's the first street south of the uh, the train tracks just off of Thompson. And so it's narrow. It's a 36-foot lot with a double garage. You're not going to get in, get the meat of the home until you get past all the hallway stuff here. There's the stairs to the basement, stairs upstairs. And then when you get into the home, you've got... You've got your kitchen on one side, and then your living room here, and then your dining room here. I've got a band-aid on my finger. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, there it is there. So dining room, family room, and then you got the kitchen on the other side here. And everything looks nice. I mean, they've done the glass doors here, nice cabinets. There's the master. Uh, there are four bedrooms upstairs, and it's an 85-foot lot. You get a couple feet more than a Madame home. Um, it's okay, you know, I think nine foot ceilings help it out. I think uh, it's it's priced within the market. Now this one on Caldwell, you can see Dairy's just over here. That's looking onto the back. I believe this is zoned for homes. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be homes behind this one. And uh, Cost Corp was the builder here. Done the backsplash, I think this is a relist too. That's not cool, okay? That looks like a nuclear explosion went off in the backyard you got to fix that picture. It's just sloppy, you know. That's a sloppy picture. Um, there's some good things in this home. You can't even see it because it's just it's a terrible picture. And so, so just behind that family room is the, the official dining area. Same thing on this one, 36-foot lot, double garage. So you've got the double garage is probably 20 feet. You've got a couple feet on either side. That means the most is you've got 8 to 10 feet of hallway there, and you've got to fit stairs in. You've got to fit a powder room, a closet. So the home doesn't start until you get past that uh, garage area on, on the L shape, and then you get into the wide back part. So that would be the first thing you'd see coming through the hallway there. Okay, and then they also have a second floor family room above the garage there. And on top of that, there's still four bedrooms. So this one's bigger than the previous one. Um, yeah, you know, it's okay. I think in that low five range, there's some good stuff right now. There's a lot of competition. That's a real heavy range of stuff where you can find some really good homes. Um, Hearst Boulevard, you get up into the 580 range now. There's a Bellingham. <clears throat> and there's a Bellingham that just sold on the same street as this one recently. And I think this one looks better. That one sold, I think, in the 550s or 560s. Um, nice, you know, I mean, the door insert. It's not like you can't do that. It's nice that it's there. Um, hardwood floors, pot lights, crown moldings. Did all that stuff here. The agent here, she's very nice too. I like her a lot. Uh, pot lights. All that stuff here. Bellinghams are weird. They have these sort of pillars that that can throw. They throw me off a little bit. California shutters. These guys spend a lot of money in the house there. Uh, fireplace moldings here too, and they've done the iron pickets and they've got the hardwood upstairs and in the master bedroom. Not sure about the other bedrooms. Done some work out in the back. I like it. Fifty six by eighty, so you get a nice wide lot. Um, it's great for playing horseshoes right in this little lane here. Um, good looking home. I like it a lot. That's our list. There's seven properties. I'm going to be back tomorrow. 
and then I'm taking a flight, leaving on a jet plane, okay? So have a great day. I'm starting to get better. You can hear my voice. I got a little bit more pep, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.